Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to do my book review for The Trellis by Jules Cantor. This ended up being my favorite quarter finalist. And this is a science fiction psychological thriller following two main points of view. First we have Debbie who is a mediator. She starts off working with the Six Counties Police Department and then gets hired on in a corporate setting at a building called the Jefferson Trellis. And then the other point of view is Detective Melody Jackson who is investigating two murders of employees connected to the Jefferson Trellis. This is set in a world where AI has taken over a lot of the jobs that humans once did. Corporations have more sway than governments. Climate change has totally changed the face of the earth, causing refugees from countries where they can't support their populations anymore. All of this at the same time, people are still expected to pay their rent, buy their food, while not getting the same opportunities or not having a lot of opportunities to succeed. I'm just going to do some pros and cons now. <laughs> so a con for me was there was not a strong sense of place in the city of Chicago, which is where this is supposed to be set. Now, because I have visited Chicago many times throughout my life, I have family in the suburbs right outside, I have one view of Chicago and I was kind of hoping to get more, even in a future after many traumas, I was still looking to get some more of that city vibe and that you don't really get that in this. You do get a pretty secure sense of the office setting. A pro for this is I love the distinct voices of Debbie and Melody. For me, I knew which voice I, or which character I was in the head of by the way that they talk about things and they notice things. And I love that their voices were so distinct, even with their different experiences and forming of how they interact with the world. So depending on what type of reader you are, this could be a con or this can be a pro. In the middle of the book, we all of a sudden got an info dump where the author used flashbacks of Debbie's life to explain the big trouble and how the world got to where it is. And I thought it was a very interesting time to do that info dump and in the manner in which it was given. It does get a little bit wordy for a few chapters, but once you're past that, you do have a little bit more insight of the context of the climate of things that are going on. And also you understand a little bit better why Debbie makes some choices that she does leading up towards the finale of the book. One con for me is there are some side characters where the author has leaned into stereotypes. I think that it was purposely done, but I don't think the stereotypes worked in the context that of this story. And especially juxtaposed at other character other side characters who are supposed to be twisting the stereotype like what stereotypical views of people, it was interesting then to see the author double down on other stereotypes. A pro, for me at least, especially in this climate of where AI is learning to do more creative pursuits, like you have the conversation of AI art and AI writing, juxtaposed with this book where the AI is in learning other skills as well, it gives the ending a little bit more of a sinister tone, at least for me it did, but it worked really well. And so I really liked the conclusion of the story and how this is not a story where you hope at the end. This is a story where you, you go, oh shit. Racking my brain for any more cons and I can't really think of any. Like I said, this was my favorite out of the six that we read in full. Yeah, if you like near future science fiction that actually deals with the consequences of life today, I think you're going to really enjoy this book. Mm -hmm.